Hello everyone! Welcome to our channel ESL Games and Teaching Tips with Jenny White. So, today we are going to speak about future. By the way, how many future tenses are there in your language? In the English language there are four future tenses. And there are also other ways to speak about the future. What about you? How many future tenses are there in your language? Let me know in the comments. Now it's the beginning of a new year, and we, teachers, make New Year resolutions and hope and pray for a better future. But our students, they don't want to think about future, and they don't want to speak about it. How can we make them use future tenses then? For example, future simple. No worries, because today I'm going to teach you how to turn your students into professional future predictors with the help of our fortune teller. Fortune Teller can help your students ask and answer questions in Future Simple. It is made of paper and it contains predictions, sentences in Future Simple. The sentences are hidden inside the Fortune Teller, under the numbers from 1 to 8. For your students, it will be just an enjoyable pastime full of laughter and interesting dialogues, and for us, teachers, it will be a great way to revise all types of sentences in Future Simple and to practice asking and answering questions. To get ready for the game, you should write three sentences in Future Simple. 1. Affirmative. Yes, I think it will happen to me. 1. Negative. No. I don't think it will happen. I won't do it. And one question. What will happen to me in... and a question mark. Next, you should get several pieces of paper, square-shaped, one for every student, plus two or three extra pieces of paper, and make the fortune teller and fill it with different predictions. How to do it, I will explain a little bit later. Now let's imagine you are my students and I am your teacher. Hello, dear friends! Welcome back! Welcome back to school after New Year holidays! How are you today? Are you happy? What do you think about this New Year? Will it be a good or a bad one for you? What do you think? What do you think, Martha? A good one. What do you think, Robert? A bad one. OK, let's check. Look, I have got a fortune teller. This is a device, a tool that can see your future and answer any question about any month of the year. What months do you remember? How many months are there? Right. 12. Let's revise them all together. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. OK, what about you, Peter? What month would you like to ask about? January? OK. A look and ask. What will happen to me? in January. OK, let me see. What's your favorite number, Peter? 5. OK. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hmm. Now, Peter, choose what number? 4, 5, 8 or 1? Number 5 again. OK, let me check, let me check. Can you repeat your question, please? What will happen to me in January? OK, in January, the fortune teller says, in January you will buy a 
camel and you will go to school by camel every day. <laughs> Usually your students will be very much surprised and they will start laughing and they will say no, 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 really? You think it won't happen? Okay, say it in English, please. No, I think it won't happen. I will not go to school by camel. Okay, okay, what about you, Rob? What month would you like to ask your question about? And now go like this with a couple of students and this time let your predictions be more logical. Mm, for example, uh, in February you will get a present from your parents or uh, you will become the best student so that the students would say yes, yes, okay, you think it will happen? Then say it in English, please. Yes, I think it will happen. I will blah 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 blah. The next step is to make all your students ask and answer questions in pairs using their fortune tellers. So let's learn how to make this wonderful device. Okay, dear students, so do you like my fortune teller? They say, yes, yes, it's so funny. Now I will teach you how to make it and you with your friends will ask and answer questions about future. Let's begin. When your students finish making their fortune tellers, give them 10 more minutes to fill it with predictions in future simple, will and the first form of the verb to make it up with sentences in future simple. And then your students will move around the classroom with their fortune tellers, they will ask and answer questions in future simple and believe me, they will not make mistakes. And this is what we teachers wanted them to do. What about you, my dear friends? Do you believe in this New Year magic in fortune telling? Let me know in the comments. And of course, if you like the game, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And see you soon on the channel ESL Games and Teaching Tips with Jenny White. See you! Thank <laughs> you.